arcade, I think it was. Oh yeah, arcade's going. All right. This video is for the ladies. First off, uh, I'm already starting off embarrassing myself. I wasn't supposed to embarrass myself yet. Gotta get straightened up. Okay. This is the general leaky that I'm in. And, uh, yeah, i uh, push off of that. I don't like that cracking sound. Cracking sounds are not good in a Kevlar canoe. They really aren't. What's going on here? What's going on here? I gotta get turned, ah, I'm on them. Stupid beaver, you didn't make the channel wide enough. Okay, take two. Ladies, have you ever wanted to go on a romantic cruise on a canoe? Now's your chance. All you have to do is sway this handsome devil and he'll take you on a ride on the SS General Leaky. I will take you to places you can't imagine. You may have to swim back, but it'll still be, you could say I was on the General Leaky before it went down. All right, so anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna get out into some little op more open water here. Uh, about four inches in the back. Okay, not too bad. I think he's getting a little bit sprung. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I told my dad, I said, Dad, if you see me coming back without the canoe, you'll know what happened. I'll just kind of try to make a mental note of where it sank. Then we could drag it after and get it. All right, I'm out into the main water here. That's not so bad. Oh, look at the lily pads, they're flowering. Okay, I'm gonna do the Indian stroke which is really quiet. Well, when it's done right. Oh, I'm in the lily pads. Okay, now I'm gonna do the J stroke and the Canadian stroke. That's my favorite. Uh, I'm a little bit far aft. This is uh, not a bad for a solo canoe. It is a tandem canoe, but I, uh, the front bench broke. Okay, right now I'm just doing the Canadian stroke and there's a bit of wind. So we'll see how it handles that. I don't want to get into anything too rough. And here, this is actually not a bad place to, to start. Okay, I'm starting to get a lot of water back there. Okay, I'm just going to go to the other end and come back. By that time, I should be okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do one bail. It's hard because I got a bail from like all the water sitting at the back, eh? So, eh. I know this part is. And as soon as you stop paddling, you get all. You got to reorient yourself. So, we'll do that. Get reoriented back out into the, the big water. It's not very deep here, but it's just I don't want to swim in this water. I really don't. It is pretty gross. There we go. So uh, the J stroke works really well in this canoe. So does the Canadian stroke, except for in the lily pads. Here, the lily pad just kind of zipping by. So anyway, this is Thompson Lake. Years ago, I'm not sure if you still could, but if you went out that way, you can get into the big Thompson Lake, part of the Thompson Lake. And that's where uh, I have so much history. Yeah, so I'm just doing the Canadian stroke right now. Water's not too bad. I think it's time for a secondary bail. I'll get to the other end and turn around. And then I'll come back. So, I mainly do uh, the J stroke. And the Canadian stroke is... Th this canoe really likes the Canadian stroke. It's a corrective stroke. It's just a modified version of the, the J stroke. You just don't take your paddle out of the water. Which, if you don't have to lift your paddle out of the water... It is, like the paddle floats, right? It's wood. Okay, I don't want to get into all that stuff over there. So I'm just gonna turn it around, start heading back, and uh, probably by the time we get to the shore, the, the stern might be under. It's not too bad, but I wanna do the sculling. Uh, I'm not gonna try it in this one. I don't wanna stress the, the sides of the canoe. <laughs> And then the Indian stroke, your paddle's almost straight up and like that. You just turn the paddle, and it's almost completely silent. When done right. Right now I'm kind of concentrating on not sinking. So, uh, I can't get enough speed because this place is too small. 
to get the speed up there. Plus with the leaking and stuff like that, I don't want to tip it. But this canoe is pretty, uh, pretty stable. Like this is a stable. This is a, this was a nice canoe. It must have been super expensive new. Uh, I do want to get a picture of the. I want the sun to come back. In. I gotta wait for the sun. So one of two things is gonna happen. I'm gonna get a nice picture of me in the lily pads. Okay, but I'll go around again. I'll do a couple of bales. Ew, that's gross. Whatever it was. Glad I didn't hit that. I think this is one of those canoes there where it's like everything's good until it's not. And then like whatever the patch just goes, that's it. Like down you go. But it was a free canoe. Uh, Kevlar is difficult to, not difficult to bail, but it's uh, difficult to uh, patch. Come on, son. I want to get that nice picture. I'm in the lily pads. Let's turn the canoe around a bit. Let me put a bit of a lean to get that. Yeah, just a little bit of pressure on my foot, and that gets me turned. And then a little bit of a pry. We pry. Just want to get lily pads. Is what I want to do. That's all I ever wanted was just to be the lily pads. Man, that's sinking fast. My little leaky, my general leaky. If I was on the big Danford with this, I would be in so much trouble right now. <laughs> oh, maybe I can get this photo op here. Right in the lily pads. I, I love these kind of shots. I, I'm going to bring my better cameras. Once I know I could, how much to trust the boats. I mean, the captain's sketchy, but... Uh, hurry up. Oh, no, don't, don't. I want the lily pads. And I don't want to get... Oh, I can go that way. Is that the main channel? Yeah, how did I get in here? Oh. Yeah, I got to find my way back out. Before I sing, I got a bail again. Whoops. 